Hi everyone, it's uh, Annie here. Um, I promised a few weeks ago that I'd do a, um, a video, a detailed video of my doll's house um, that I built from scratch. Well, it came in a, a kit form, so um, basically just MDF um, sort of wood and basically you had to paint it all, put it all together, decorate it, light it, um, floor, put flooring down, things like that. So I'm going to do a details video for you, as I promised. Um, it'll probably take a while because there's quite a lot to, to show you. Um, at the bottom it stands on a, a little cupboard, um, which I just keep bits and pieces in. So, as you can see it's quite big, it stands probably six foot tall. So when I get up to the attic rooms, I will need to stand on my little ladder that I've got just to uh, get up there. But I'll start off with, um, so that's the roof. And all these tiles were put on um, individually and painted. And that's real lead on the roof tops and round the, the sides there, it's real lead. Um, and the doors open here in there and then the front doors open to reveal the the, the land uh, sorry the grand hallway and then we have steps and then we have the steps down to the basement area down there so basically to to open the whole thing up um to remove the steps just, I mean, you can open the house, but you, but the to open to get into the basement, which I want to start off with, I'll just show you that first. So we just move everything out of the way. This just lifts straight off. So I'll put that over there on the side. So, so we have a door here that leads into the downstairs this just comes off sorry I'll get there in a minute <laughs> excuse my budgies bless them there I'm over there in the corner but they do make a lot of noise so apologize for them so here we are this is the kitchen uh, as you can see oh gosh I'm really sorry about the birds they are really noisy at the moment because I'm talking so um yeah, so the range at the back um, and the brickwork above it, that's all built by me. Um, as you can see, there's the, the dresser. And we have, this is proper stone or slate, should I say, flooring, all individually laid. So it's like a bit of a jigsaw puzzle, really. So, and then we have the table with the vegetable pot and the pie and the peas. So that's the kitchen area, and then we have the. I don't know what you call this really? Sort of the sort of this in between the area where we got the. I don't know who he is, but he, I call him George, and he's got his uh, little bottle of wine there, and his plate of fruit and bread, and some potted meat and butter, and the dog bowls there, and there's a little mouse sitting on there and then at the back we have I'll put my hand in there's a little downstairs toilet in there and a little boiler with a sink over there that's that and then we move all the doors open by the way they all open so and then we move into the pantry as you can see I'm to move into the pantry at the back is the cold cupboard with the meats hanging up, we have eggs, uh, bread, and onions, garlic. Uh, we've got some pheasants hanging up. And on the bottom, there's carrots and potatoes. And then we move into the laundry room. Uh, as you can see, there's a, a boiler at the back, and hanging, washing, and another big sink unit, double sink, double sink unit there. So that's that room. And then to the main house. So the first floor opens out on the first floor. Just open it up for you. 
It's a creaky door. So we have, oh, I'll start off with the hallway, I think, first. So this is the main entrance hall. As you can see, it's very grand. And again, all these tiles are proper sort of tiles, really. They're, they're all individually laid as well. So it took me ages to do this floor. So um, you can see there's a lovely ceiling. Rose up there with a big chandelier. Um, and I love this little table and chair here. Mirror. And at the back, oops, just knock my plant over. And at the back, this leads downstairs. It actually does go down. Actually, mirror will fall off the wall. I need to sort that out. Just noticed that that's fallen down, so I need to sort that out. At the back, though, you can actually go, it actually does go downstairs all the way down, but to make it realistic. So that's my entrance hall. And then we have the grand dining room. Um, all laid out, ready for the family to sit and have a meal. Um, flowers. Now that painting at the back there, if I can zoom in a bit, I'll try and zoom in. I can show you that. Now my dad was an artist and that is one of his paintings that has been scaled down for my doll's house, especially for my doll's house in memory of my dad. So, yeah, so that's special. So that's the dining room. And then we have um, the drawing room with the piano, we have the piano here. And lovely, again, this is a crystal chandelier, real crystals in the chandelier. And a beautiful, beautiful ceiling. I love that ceiling, it's such a beautiful ceiling. And this wallpaper is actually originally from uh, a stately home, been miniaturised. So the wallpaper is all um, uh, sort of speciality wallpaper for doll's houses, which is lovely. I forgot to show the ceiling in the dining room, actually. That's the ceiling in the dining room. Yeah. So that's that. And then we move up to the second, or oh, sorry, the first floor landing. Um, a lovely table there with some flowers and again here and some little pictures on the wall there and there's a big picture on the wall here and then this is the ladies sitting room uh, it's very pretty it's all in pink this is a very elaborate ceiling this one if you can see that beautiful ceiling um, and we have a little dog on the, um, one of the chairs there and a bird in the back and we have a little cat and a box of chocolate sitting on there and afternoon tea trolley and even my knitting look in the corner there my knitting basket so it's that and then we move along to the gentleman's study and again this is a picture oh, from my dad that my dad painted that's been miniaturised. It's the Battle of Trafalgar. He was really into Nelson and the Battle of Trafalgar and that's his painting miniaturised. I'm very proud of those. Um, we have a Labrador dog on the, sitting in front of the fire. The chess set. My dad was a great, he loved playing chess. Um, and then there's a newspaper in there and a, a desk, a photo frame that I need to put a photograph in. So that's that floor. And then we move up to the uh, second floor and we have a cupboard, laundry cupboard on the landing here with lots of laundry and things in. And up here, the spider in the corner. So, <laughs> not a real one. Um, again, a picture on the wall that it's focusing. Yeah, it's, a bit, it's got a bit skew with. Um, and this is the bathroom. Now, I wanted it because it's quite a big room, I wanted to do it split level, so I put um, obviously the split, all the tiles again are real. Um, 
and I made all the pillars. The pillars are real, real stone. So uh, the bathroom suite at the back, uh, very beautiful. The fireplace, it's just lounge, and the cabinet here. Um, still need to do lots more to this house. There's towels need to put in. There's blinds. There's curtains need to put to be done. This is the main bedroom and there's a canopy yet to go over the bed but I made all the miniature cushions and the quilt and all the if you can see I don't know if you see that in there oh that's all made by me so which is quite fiddly really when you're trying to do that sort of thing sewing um a fireplace and dressing table and we have some stuff. Oops, the dress has just fallen off the. Sorry. That's more than I stay there. Huh? Um, stockings and a handbag and gloves. And beautiful dress hanging up on the wardrobe. So that's the master bedroom. Now, to move up to the, the top floor, I need to get my stepladder. Now the top floor is um, basically the nursery and um, the nursery and the nanny's room. So this lives up down the step. So obviously that's the landing up there and this is the nursery. Just to come up a bit. That's the nursery in here. You can see scary old nanny there. She costs quite a lot of money actually. She's handmade so she... Uh, Quite a lot and we've got toys on the back and crib again all the bedding was made by me on the crib beautiful crib and a little baby inside and then the little girl's bed here and a little girl she's lovely with her dolly and toys all over the floor as it would be in the nursery probably so that's that room and then lastly, we have the nanny's room, which is here. Um, uh, again, I knitted that blanket on the bed, miniature blanket, with tiny, horrible needles to knit with, were they? So she's got a book, um, picture on the wall, and a fire bucket. And there is even a toilet behind there, but she has a screen to cover that up. She don't want to see that. So, yeah. So that is my doll's house that I promised to do. So I hope you enjoyed that review. And as I said, there's lots more work to do and little jobs are always being done. So it's an ongoing project, really. Um, so anyway, thanks for watching. If you liked it, then um, if you have any suggestions of what you'd like to see in there or any ideas, then let me know and give the thumbs up if you if you like the video. And I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now.